All right, let's get back to Eden. As the title says, it's a real thank you so much for the... Oh, God, I can't use this. Thank you so much for the seven months, sub. I really appreciate that as well. Thank you for sticking around. I mean, I can't use... I can't freaking use the freaking glass cannon. Or I probably will die. Glass cannon's bad. Like, it's just bad for every character that isn't the lost. Never worth. Yeah, okay, so glass cannon removes all of your soul hearts and sets your red hearts to one half. If you have no red hearts, you die. Good item, out of 10. Yo, baby rage though. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, I would have died. Yeah, it's good for the lost, and that's the only time. No, <laughs> it removes all your soul hearts, and they didn't fix that. They were like, wait, what if you don't have red hearts? Nah, it's fine, don't worry about it. No, glass cannon sets your health rather than damaging you, I believe. Oh, yeah. That's the wrong color, though. It's still the wrong color. You punk nerd. You don't understand how important... Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me right now. <sighs> Thank you. Short run? What are you talking about? This is going to be a long, long run. It will be glorious. Yeah, if I use glass cannon right now, I die. That's just like how it goes down. End of my life. Item kills me. Rip. I am slow. No, I'll be fine. Look at this. Look at this. It's fine. Don't worry. I actually don't know how much damage Glass Cannon does.
Nah, let's go boss challenger. But why would I use glass cannon? It's not good. That's like the point you're all missing. I have no bombs. Oh yeah, Red Aura should work on the poison from, like, the room entry from Toxic Shock. Can't imagine it wouldn't. No, surprisingly no Tinted Rock in there. I don't really wanna. It's not even a little bit tempting. But I have purity. Like, why would I glass cannon when I have purity? And like, oh look, a soul heart. Now glass cannon is stupid to use. Dang, what a surprise. When it ignored soul hearts, it was just OP though. Like, I just don't know that there is a good way to balance it as an item. It's either really good or really bad. Unless you're the lost, then it's always really good. I have the blue aura, I can't die. It's not allowed. Blue Aura is minus four fire rate delay. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's just immortality, don't worry about it. Uh, that'd be kind of cool if it used up heart containers to activate each time. That might be a good one. I believe the plus four would be inside the formulae. I don't know though for sure. Good luck, Red Icewind. Good luck.
Oh my god, no curse. Fake. Um, Poly, was Polyphemus outside of the formula as well? I don't remember anymore. It's been a while. Alright, fine. Class cannon. I shoot class at my enemies. And they're just like, dang, that's classy. I give up. Oh, baby. Look at this fire eat right now. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, Cancer Trick would stack. All the tier delay stuff stacks. Is great. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. I could have damaged myself, that would have sucked. Of course, all the tier delay stuff stacks until you get to one tier delay. I'm not at one right now, I don't think. I think I can get plenty more. Uh, yeah. With mom's box, cancer is minus four fire rate delay. Blue aura is always minus four fire rate delay. You right. Two beds? Excuse me. I don't have a devil room to get rid of my heart, so I can't make use of both of those. I can't do it. I want to do it, but I can't. Yeah, I cry 
Every time. I don't know about uh, that. Um, as far as um, one bomb to clip. Black markets don't matter. They're pretty much useless. I'm not going to take damage and lose my blue aura to get rid of a heart for an item I don't need just to get some soul hearts that I don't really need because I'm strong anyway and haven't taken damage since the basement. Oh boy. Yeah, that one I knew I was going to end up getting hit, but I'll get the blue aura back right away anyway. Uh... Dang, it doesn't count because they weren't up. I mean, I told you I was gonna get it. It's not like, it's not like you weren't warned. If you mean the bomb glitches and leave the room and re-enter to increase their blast radius, no. If you mean the one to clip to the black market or clip to the item in the middle of that room in the basement, yes, that works. I wish I could go over there. This room is kind of scary. This one especially, because I'm slow. Okay, good. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd have to go back for the item room. I'll just fight first. That sucks. Gonna have to take some extra hits to get blue again. We'll see. Yeah, there's a reason that blue's the best aura. It's like straight up OP. And my fire rate is good, like even without it, it's just not the same. Rip that guy. Rip everyone else. Alright, next floor I'll walk into some fires or something. I 
Everyone likes this emote a lot. I think I have a speed aura right now. God dang it. I don't know how much health I have. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure that's the red aura. Yeah. Oh, now I had definitely have the speed aura, which isn't bad to have. The sun. That room would have been cleared anyway without using the card, but that's okay. You never lucky. Always lucky. Always lucky, friends. Yeah, definitely always lucky. All right. What does that nice hat do? It's a pretty sweet hat, isn't it? I'm immune to bomb explosions. And if I get hit by a tier, there's a chance that instead of damaging me, it's uh, shot back as three of my tiers. Good item. Dang, I am a little low on health, aren't I? Dang, man. Gotta calm down. That was close. Nah, <laughs> that's funny. Good one. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess the foot wouldn't be able to damage you. That's correct. Same with uh, Satan feet. No, that sucks. No, I'm not fighting Hush this run. Hush would murder me. Easy. That's close. Ah. 
No! Yep, I saw that one happening. Always lucky? Nope, never lucky. That should have hit me. Oops. Oh, thank you. Uh. Still there, I have to know. Oh. I got cheated. Because I died in there, I guess. Rip me. So much damage. It's a good life. Alright, we in there? Nope, we not in there. No, oh, that's not very useful to be fair, so this is probably the best. I believe in you. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Shoop de Whoop in Afterbirth is like really strong. That might be an understatement. Yeah, exactly. Better than Mega Blast. No Kappa. Disagree. That's not. Re yep, that's red. That one's blue. Please, greed. I have a family. Thank you. Being mindful of my family. No. Yo, quad cage in a normal size room is the best room. Are you on drugs or something? I should play that first, let's be real with ourselves. Also, is this this is great, right? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Oh, this is not. 
I thought it would go like all the way across. How wrong I was. Oh, I thought I was... Well, now I'm dead. Oh, and I'm not getting blue. It's actually a really hard room, dude. That was my fault. Completely. Yo, Sil, thank you for the 16 months, up, dude. Thank you so much for the continued support. How you doing? All right, let's keep going here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, nah, dude, that Blastasis room is a legit really hard room. It's a good thing I wasn't going for a streak. Otherwise, rip streak would make sense to say. It's a good thing, dude. This is not the start that I dream of. I need blue aura up in here. I'm playing Eden. All Eden all the time right now. Eden is the character. Oh boy. I need some parasite action in the item room or something. I would imagine so, Phantom Hive. I mean, does your damage twice. If your damage is high enough, why wouldn't it just kill bosses? Oh, Bible tract. I didn't even look at my trinket, honestly. I don't know. I was actually wondering that about Diplopia on purity. If you get two auras. No, I'm not doing it. Meister, thank you for the six month sub. Thank you so much for sticking around as well. Really appreciate that continued support. Alright, I'm gonna do the smart thing and hang out over here. Well, that didn't work. That wasn't the dream. Tiny planet, man. Nice, I spawned with breakfast. Polly wouldn't be that good with... Uh, tiny planet. Tiny planet's real bad. I don't think you realize. And Polly needs... Like, Polly's not a good solo item. It's a combo item. It's not going to combo with well with a bad item. Oops. Yeah, I'm just going to have to take a hit in here. No, pills are bad. They're not worth taking. Nice. Yeah, Brimstone's good with Tiny Planet. Uh, Parasite and I imagine Cricket's Body are really good with Parasite because the tiers that split follow the same path and can hit the same enemy. You can get a ton of extra tiers out following the same paths, getting a ton of extra damage. So that's really good. Uh, Lump of Coal is like playable.
my god. No, thank you. Ringworm certainly turns everything into a mess. Uh, with Tiny Planet, but it's a really funny mess. You don't have to avoid getting hit that much in Afterbirth. But really, it's just learn a bunch of enemy patterns. Learn which enemies you need to focus down first. And focus down those enemies first, so that they die. So that the easier to dodge enemies are the ones that you're left with when you're done with that. But you just need to fight the enemies enough times to the point where they make sense. How can you learn that? You just fight them a lot. Play more of the game and get better at it. Greed glitch. What is greed glitch? Oh, see you, Citro. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> yeah, always reset if Ragman. Screw Ragman. I didn't even know that was a thing, weird beard. I would imagine that they fixed that when they fixed a lot of other save quit exploits, but I don't know. Oh no, I expect to fight Ultra Breed every shot. Lost contact would be bad with this fire rate. It would just mean I can't really attack enemies if they want to shoot at me. Lost contact's almost always a bad idea if you don't already have piercing. It's just like screw getting to attack enemies you're not going to. With the plus one, I don't kill them one hit. Alright. Great, thanks. Well, let's do this the smart way, at least. No thanks. Well, I'll bomb the dude. Yeah, I, I know I have the callus. Oh, is that chest room spiked? So, now what you're trying to tell me? Brains is good. I like that challenge.
they fix Guardian to an extent. Like, same with speed, they fix speed. Brains is now just the hardest, but I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty good. It's hard, though. Yeah, you won't get it first try. Or you probably won't get it first try, at least. No thanks. No thanks. I love pills. They're so good. No, just take flight here. Dude, I love this guy. I'm gonna die this run if I don't take something here, but I'm gonna let it happen. That didn't screw me over that badly. Well, pills, like, if I have even, like, two not bad pills, they could save this run. Compass isn't going to save this run. That's how I'm looking at it. Might or might save this run, though. Oh. Oh. Don't make me do this. I don't think I got a damage up. I'm not sure, but I did get a tears up. That's for sure. Still no thanks. Wow. Nice. Can't get shot at here. Just deal with the enemies. It's gonna be slow. Nice, thanks. <laughs> There's so much health to do. Oops. It's fine, don't worry. Wow, I can't hit that one from over here. Thank you. Probably should have not taken that yet, but whatever. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna need this soon. Actually, you know what? Let's just ditch. I don't believe that it's more ups than downs. Just doesn't strike me as true. I always wanted to be able to get multiple hits, and murder multiple phases. Never does.
I lost a heart container to experimental treatment. That's the only one I'm that I lost though. Good item. Oops. I missed. Too much at least. Get out of my face! Thank you. I think a lot of people think that experimental treatment is like an okay item. I just don't. I always get like nothing out of it. If it is overall stats up, it's like good stats down, bad stats up, you know? It's like overall it ruins your run but you get a sort of stats up. You know, like, technically you gain something, it's just not worth it. Oh, great, thanks. No, thank you. I do need a bunch of money ups. So I can gain some damage. That'll help. For sure. I'm aware I have the PhD. You know the question mark pill is the one that gives you Curse the Maze? And it is in fact a bad pill, but it is counted as neutral because they didn't feel like coding well. PhD has identified that pill. All pills are identified. When it shows question marks, that's the Curse the Maze pill. You shouldn't unlock the keeper, but um, a thousand in your donation machine in greed mode. Yeah, no, none of the new pills are counted as bad. That is indeed correct. It sucks. But none of them are counted as good either. That's the thing. It's not just that none are bad, it's that none are good. They're all neutral because they didn't feel like thinking about it. Oh, cool. And question marks could easily just have another, like you could just have another um, I can see forever. Or, you know, just not get that pill. Like it's perfectly fine if it doesn't have a counterpart. It's not neutral, it is straight up bad. Like it doesn't have to have a counterpart, you can just remove it when you have PhD, it's... No oh, thanks. Alright, can't spend too much money, I do need damage. Yeah, I mean, nothing saying they can't add it. Nice, cool, thanks. 
Can't add a totally new um, pill effect to make a <coughs> a good pill to counter it. That's also a very you know possible thing for them to do. Nah, I like having a full donation machine. I don't need the damage that badly. I've already taken too much out of it. Wow, made that. I didn't think I would. Sweet, that'll help a lot. I don't even need these, but whatever. Well, more useful, since I have flight now. Screw it. Cool. No, Headed Keeper purely spawns the money and gives you bigger tiers. There's not any stat ups. Honestly, the tiers might not even be bigger. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's better. Well, since I had it, I may as well use it, right? Does fear mean nothing to you? Dang, dude. Uh, who needs a mouth? I cry with my eyes, thank you. Wow, great, thanks. I feel very trapped. Wow. I'll take that money. Not bad. I mean, I guess I take this nerd, but I will sacrifice my run for not having the knife, if that's what it takes. Oops. A little fast now. Yeah, exactly. The knife just doesn't have as many fun synergies. That's why I generally don't take it. I take it once in a while, of course. I take everything once in a while. Except use items. Most of those suck.
That's true, mom's knife isn't coins. On a technical level. Good one. That one's for you, buddy. I'm not doing a streak at the moment. I'm just playing Eden. This trinket's the rib of greed. Means that greed won't spawn in shops or secret rooms while I'm holding it. Oh, okay. Guess I'll fight Hush then. this because it looks kind of silly. Oh, nice. Good spider. Uh, I probably found a dollar like twice in Rebirth and Afterbirth just because I never gamble on <laughs> slot machines. So, not recently. Curse the Blind. Alright, well. I'll still buy out the double room. It's the worst that could happen. I already know the worst that could happen. It's not that bad. What the heck is going on in my life right now? Dollar was like straight up my last item. Uh, before Afterbirth, besides not having Godhead unlocked, and then whatever other Lost unlocks I didn't have done, because of course, screw the Lost, uh, pre D4 and pre Holy Mantle. Oh, he's gonna give me a thing. You look so cool when I don't charge it much. Oh yeah, sure. Hey Beamer. I mean, I had real platinum god on one file before Afterbirth, just... That's because on the stream it's a lot easier to grind out a lost run so you win. There's just more going on in chat and whatnot, and it's it can be less the focus, less frustrating when you don't succeed. Less stagnation, all that good stuff. I think Tech X was the one that was intended to be spectral, and the others got it through bugginess.
For those that don't know, Tech X absolutely destroys Hush. Dude, my face is like there is no face. That looks really cool, actually. How is this not the right way, dude? I feel cheated and lied to. Uh, yeah, this is changing the hitbox of the laser rings because the outside is what hits. Thank you for the host, True Black Shark. Get rid of all my health. I'll take both. Yeah, no, Tech X is real good for Keeper. Wow. Not the luckiest guy. Not the luckiest guy, man. I probably only had Tech X like once with the Keeper, but I got a lot done that run. I think that's how it went down. Why is it 0.65? Because screw you, as the player. The best part is the laser does half that. So the laser is doing, what, 32.5% of your damage? Top tier, man. No keys. My life sucks. Hopefully this is safe for this too. No, it's not even a little bit safe for this one. Safe for this one though. Blitz a really good boss. There's been a lot of recent bloat hate. But even like since the original bloat I've considered one of the better bosses as far as being difficult but still being fair. Oh, come on. You can't do that. God dang it. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, if you go on the subreddit at all, everyone's like, ah, oh, yeah, so bloat sucks. And I'm like, what are you guys talking about? 
Dr. Sousaphone with the 12 month sub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sticking around for so long. I really appreciate that. Because bloat doesn't do the freaking many directional random shot. That's like seriously the only part of peep that gets me. Haven't seen that one before. That is, in fact, a new one. But, like, if you want to know my true weakness, it's probably everyone's true weakness because, god dang, that boss. It's the freaking champion Mega Maw. That pink boss is just straight up impossible. A bloat can try to hit you on entry, but it's not guaranteed hit. Same reason, like, it wasn't a guaranteed hit in the original either. You could very much avoid it if you wanted to. Oops. Just had to be ready. Dude, the red champion Mega Maw is just so difficult. Easily the hardest boss in the game. Like, that's not even something that I consider slightly questionable. It is the hardest boss in the game. Yeah, the quick jumps in Mega Fatty, you have to just already be moving or not be too close to it. Yeah, Ragman's not like hard, it's just bad. Berserker Mundo, thank you for the seven month sub. Thank you. For the continued support as well. Really appreciate you sticking around. You can't react to Mega Fatty's animation for the jump. You have to already be moving. You just have to get a feel for the like attack timer, so it'll try to attack every so often, uh, within a certain range of times usually. You get a feel for that, and then you just dodge. You start moving around the time it's supposed to attack. And you hope that uh, it doesn't jump anyway. Mama Gertie's just, yeah, it's totally fair. No problems with that boss at all. There's nothing you can do about that one, though. It's either the game decides you get hit or you don't. Or it doesn't. Same with Daddy Long Legs. It's just the game decides you get hit or it decides you don't. No, the spikes can spawn directly under you. It's not just don't move when it spawns them. They will spawn directly under you, not infrequently. Yeah, Tech X works with Guppy. It's really good. Mama Grady does what it wants. Mummy Brigade, thank you for the 14 months. It's close to a chat year. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the continued support. 
as for Mama Gertie, by the way, uh, that was my first thought. I was like, oh, you probably just don't move and it never hits you. And, like, immediately got myself proven wrong. I was just like, oh, stand still. It's, it's gotta be the strat. That has to be what they're intending. It's like, oh, if you don't panic, you'll be fine. Got hit immediately. I'd fight the double peep, double ragman, no. I had a basement XL where the first boss was uh, ragman, second boss was double trouble ragman. I actually quit that run. Like, there, that run was not, like, terrible, wasn't, like... It wasn't, like, flawed, except that I got double ragman, double, like, double trouble ragman on basement XL. Like, why would you do that? It didn't give me things to deal with that. It's just a stupid boss room that should never spawn. Caves 1, Caves 2, fine. Spawn double Ragman if you want. Basement 2? No. Yeah, Basement shouldn't have double trouble ever. Wiggle Worm's causing the Tech X to look weird. Yeah, Ragman never spawning, I wouldn't be against that. Oh wow. I can span this really fast. Didn't realize my fire rate was so good. It looks so cool. Well, it's a six-sided star. It's kind of... It's close enough. Ugh. 